So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a um, extract basically a normal map from the model before you start painting and texturing or painting and texturing basically. You'll want to do this before that. This is why I like to go over this before, but it's a pretty easy way to give it more detail just basically by the um, by the height and the normal map. Now, what is normal map if you do not know? Normal maps and bump maps are basically just a way to kind of give more um, height and depth to a textured object without actually modeling the object using basically the alpha colors, uh, the RGBs um, of the actual texture itself. So for instance, if you were modeling a wall, you wouldn't necessarily need to model every single brick. You could probably extract like the alpha channel of the brick and add it to it and give it that texture look basically just by the um, by the image this is done this is good in a lot of games and stuff like that where um, you want to keep things low low res and not really um, have to add on a bunch of polygons to try to model that basically you could model this but it would be you know definitely high rep more res and a little bit clunky when it comes to moving things in real time I guess so and kind of easy to demonstrate that though i've got this guy in maya here it's kind of easier explained in Maya. is this my hyper shader viewport here and say if i was just to add a texture to this guy assign new material just add a blend change his color blend to like say yellow here you have a bump map normal map setting over here and you could add if you had an image on him you could add the alpha channel image in here too but i'm just going to add like a noise in here to show you how this would work so say you've got noise right there so see the way already it's kind of distorted it it's kind of hard to tell up there but right here you can kind of start seeing how it's giving it divided images to where it looks like it's raised like it's cracked and that's just by the noise the alpha channel of the noise basically and you know obviously you go in and kind of adjust this so much now it's kind of start looking like a little scaly skin um spotted there we go that's cool looks like it's got its little spots there and but you see the way it's kind of made it look like that you know on the actual image itself and this is kind of your preview it's just since this is a low poly model it's uh, probably best if I would have like smooth this thing over. Yeah, there we go. Start seeing these like bits, and that's just simply by texturing. There's no modeling whatsoever, but it gives it that look. And you can actually bring this out in Mudbox before you actually add the textures, just by um, extracting texture maps up here. So there's not really a whole lot of like having to know exactly what these maps are basically so you can do this. So I'll just kind of demonstrate. So I've got this guy, I just brought this head in. I'm gonna add a layer over here and sculpt this layer. And I'm actually gonna go up in division so I get really nice sculpting definitions. So like one, let me just go two, three, four. No, I don't wanna do that. At three, so I got my sculpt on. So now I've kind of make him put whatever it is. And you notice it's a really clean sculpt because I've got so many divisions in here, and I'm using the sculpt layer here. You can use the stamp image here if you want to to kind of give some cool. Looks like a zombie or something you know however you had your skin picture um this i'm gonna work this i'm gonna make them poorly eye holes you have the skull hanging out because he's a zombie you know so as you can see it's a pretty um pretty got these nice black um, curves to it here you can see the definition really the the sculpture of how it is let me uh just do an over oh, there we go i don't want to get too far but sometimes it'll there we go now, if you're bringing in a model 
you would obviously need to extract the um, extract the maps or unwrap the maps. What I mean by that is bring up my my other guy. That's actually what I'm looking for right there. This is a previous one. You would need to make sure all these maps are projected out for the UV editor. kind of a cluster right now, but say if you just put an automatic on it, which, you know, is not really recommended, it would kind of lay them out nicely so you, you'd have something to extract in there. Usually these ones that are preset, it already has mesh, or it already has UVs on it, so I don't really need to do that. Once you got your levels out of this, basically I wanted to take it back down to a lower level, but I wanted to keep this definition. You can go to Extract Texture Map, New Operation normal map so this is your target model this is where you're going to send it to and this is the source model of what you're using the high resolution meth so in other words you're taking your target model your source model and then you're producing this right here the only thing you really got to kind of mess with is just where to send it where you want it to go so Man, man, PNG. I'm just gonna hit extract here. Finished. Notice it actually layered and it kind of made it look more, more detailed. Actually, now what if I just kind of go down a level? Like look at it, it's like really detailed, even at step level one, you know. So you keep that detail instead of um, how it would originally look, which is really cool. And you have the map. If you wanted to take it back into Maya, you have this extraction map, basically the UV map laid out, how we had the UV map laid out. So it's just a really cool way of like uh, extracting that map out to give it like just that more detail and then you can kind of operate it because if you notice here I'm operating at a really low subdivision level how this is right here just with the normal map on it so but yeah that's a quick easy way to kind of extract the map next I'll kind of go over so like using some of these paint tools and stuff on it bring it in from Maya making sure your UV maps but um but yeah, but this is something you'd want to do before you start painting on it because if you paint on it, then you put um, the map on there. It may make the textures look a little weird. So, so but uh, yeah, so have fun with this and uh, thanks for watching.